not three dollars like it says there it's there's three dollars for so much time oh. so make sure that you look at that receipt and you check that time i just spent three hundred dollars going to san marcus to go home and then i just spent two dollars get my car out of their oh, no. lot so i would definitely check that time on that ticket and follow those rules or you'll suffer the same consequences i did see she thought it was only three dollars Yes, sir. Is this a towing company? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes, it is. Okay, I was wondering if you could please help me uh, with the process to get my car back. Okay. Okay, uh, do you need my license plate number or? I don't want yes, sir. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay, what kind of car is it? It's a uh, a Ford Mercury. Ford Mercury. Yes, sir. Or it, a Mercury. It's a a Mercury two thousand eight. Two thousand eight Mercury. All right, hold on one second. Where did you get towed from? Uh, uh, UT, I'm, I'm puzzled what happened, sir. That's what I was, uh, other reason why I was calling. Maybe y'all can help me understand that while I'm getting all my funds together. Uh, it was a sticker they told us to put on the car, a ticket, and it said $3, and I followed the instructions. I put it face up. Um, I was stranded, and I actually live in a different city and had to take a cab to get home. So I was wondering if maybe someone could let me know what I did wrong so I, I won't do it again. Yeah, um, you got towed for an expired permit. W what does that mean, expired I don't have a permit. I don't go to UT. I, I purchased a ticket in the little... Uh, yeah, at the central parking, there's a little parking meter permit that it prints out. It was an expired permit. It expires the time. Ten minutes after it expires, we're allowed to tow it. What, what, I, it didn't say there, it's, there was a time limit uh, posted there. I, I, pff, that's, I had no idea there was something on that ticket. Did it say how long I'd been there before y'all towed it? Uh, I'm not for sure, to be honest. Uh, this is what I saw, and you see point one, two, three, four, five. I don't see point six check receipt for rates of time. Because when I parked my car, I was looking for the rules here. I wasn't looking for these signs about being reserved for staff. I had no intention of parking in someone's Catholic staff spot. I parked right over here where these cars were. I actually have witnesses who drove with me. And I believe my car was like right over here because I wanted to quickly make the purchase and quickly get in my car. And you can see there's no signage here you guys be careful, I got towed here. There's a, if you're gonna be parking here, be careful, it's a towing scam. Most importantly, and here's the kicker of the hot, whole entire cannoli, is that central parking, well, first of all, the sign looks like it's out of whack. I don't know, maybe you guys can fix that. It looks like, to me, the charge is $3. It doesn't say with extra minutes. So central parking, what are you thinking? If this is church parking, that means the Catholic Church is in cahoots with central parking, putting women in a very precarious situation at night with their cars getting towed. And parents at UT need to know that this is going on. T Studentville. Like 30 cars last night, that's $6,000. Okay. Excuse me, guys, fellow victims of the, or shall we say survivors? Are we survivors or victims? I wonder. Victims. Where, you know, words matter. So here is the place where they charge you $200. This is what you call predatory. This is the junkyard.
Uh, we're back now. We cashed the check and we've got the cash. I called him up for the total because I couldn't hear him through the window. He's given me two different stories on his fee structure. The website of the, the pit bulls who protect people from these people who prey on innocents have advised us to ask for a fee structure sheet. I'm sorry, sir? Yes, sir. Hi, I wanted to see your uh, fee structure. I called earlier and you were telling me that the prices go up like at 10.30 or 10.45 or so. How, when does it keep going up? Can you uh, kind of, you know, give me some sort of indication of how that works? So, so, hey, you've already incurred $90. so right now I'm at, what's my, how much is it right now? I don't know what kind of car you're for. It's a Mercury white vehicle 2008. Picked up at like 1045 down at the um, university yesterday. I know, but he said that there was going to be a price. Wait, on the charge extra, so it'd be two fourteen ninety. Two fourteen, and then is it every twelve hours it goes up, or do, I need to understand this so I can, because I'm trying to get you know this situation taken care of. Can you give me like a a framework here of how this how how often the prices keep going up here as the time clock ticks? Every day. Every day. Every day. It's twenty dollars a day. It's twenty dollars a day. So. It, it's two. It's going to be two hundred and fourteen dollars at what time today, sir? After twelve hours of that, you've been picked up. Can you please look at my paperwork so I can write this down and get so there's no confusion because I'm really trying to get this. Get out. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I just got paid out for you. I won't worry about writing nothing down. Sir, I'm trying to get up there and get exact change for you, and I'm trying to work this out, and so. That's why I'm needing to know how, at what point it is, so I don't have to keep calling you up. That's why I'm trying to do this right now, sir, while you're hopefully in not high volume time. Yeah, I, just, I got, there's like 30 cars over here that, it's going to be crazy in a little bit. Yes, sir, I understand that. So can you please give me an idea, there like, a, cool, I'm sorry? It'll be 214.90 till tomorrow. Till tomorrow, till Monday? Okay, and then at, and then uh, what what like what time Monday morning? What's the next hit then? I guess the same exact time you got picked up at ten thirty whenever you got picked up. Okay, so it's not every twelve hours; it's every twenty hours or twenty four hours. Because I got picked up last night at ten uh, forty five, and it hadn't been twenty four hours yet, sir. Yeah, but as soon as you get picked up, they add time to your. Is it two thousand eight? What is that? I don't have a credit card on me, and you guys said you need the credit card in person. I have someone that is willing to give you the credit card over the phone uh, with the same last name. You can verify all this information, but y'all said that y'all couldn't do that, and so that's what's making that is what's taking longer for me to resolve this issue. Yeah, but if you had a credit card, you could transfer funds from one account to the other. That way, you don't have that trouble. You just come down here with your own credit card. Well, sir, that's what. That Walmart uh, card, a debit card, if you go to an ATM. Yeah, I I, understand. I appreciate you trying to help me with my financial picture, but I'm just trying to get accurate data here. So it's twenty, but it was it's two. It was what one, what it, one ninety three, one hundred and ninety three dollars and thirty cents. Okay, that's int that's an odd number. Okay, one ninety three thirty, and then it goes up to two hundred and fourteen dollars at what time this morning? I'm sorry? 21490. 21490. At what time? Um I want to do your pickle. I just took it out. Oh no. Mercury. 
I'm sorry? Time you got picked up is 10.54. 10.54. So... At 10.54, if you come later than that time, you're going to have another $20 left. 10.54 a.m. So it goes from 193 to uh, two, 193.30 to $214.90 at, if I if I don't come in before ten fifty four a.m. right? P.M. P.M. Well, maybe a.m. I think it is a.m. Yeah, it's a.m. Well, can't, which one is it, sir? <laughs> that makes a big difference for me, please. Uh, a.m. Should be the a.m. So it, so within twelve hours, you guys kick it up uh, forty bucks. Computer does it on its own. Twenty. Twenty dollars, and so are you gonna at. 10.54 this evening, you can, is it going to be another 20, or is it going to be 10.54 tomorrow morning that it's another 20? That's what I'm trying to understand the increments here, please. Oh, sure. The computer does everything on its own. I don't do the math. It's only $20 a day. I'm trying to tell you, it's $20 a day. And as soon as your car's picked up, it's in 24 hours. It's $20 a day. The second day, it's 70 The first day, it's $20. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to do the math. I'm going to do the math. I'm going to do the math. I'm going to I'm not sure how long you can decide to take to come get your car, but it's only twenty dollars a day. Well, I don't live in Austin, sir. That's the problem, and I spent all my money getting a cab to get home. All right, thank you for your time. Uh -huh. Let me meet one Longhorn who was it, the most sweetest, heartfelt helper, giving me some. M most of them offered to walk me to the building, which is comforting if you're dyslexic. It's going to be up on your left. You're going to see. So here's where I was debate judging here. There's the Catholic Church. So it's graduation week, so imagine how these folks feel getting towed. Oh, isn't that special? It's a selfie kind of shoe. Oh, it's graduation time. So we got people trying to find parking. Look, if I had time, I'd form my own protest and warn people of this shenanigree. Is this the spot? Let's see here. This is the spot. This is the exact picture I saw on the blog post. I'm going to jump out, okay? If you want to go in there, you can. I'll, let me get this. This is the spot, the scene of the crime from last night. Let's take a look. I can get through without getting run over by somebody. Okay, so this is where we got towed from last night. Please, no overnight parking on Saturday. This lot is reserved all day Sunday for Catholic use only. That to me says that the property owners are the Catholic Church. We'll confirm that, of course, when we start our open records request. There is no signage here. It was late at night when I came up yesterday, and this is what I saw. See, this, this sticker was not there, because today's Sunday, obviously. My Sunday was ruined, thanks to these guys. Uh, this is what I saw, and you see point one, two, three, four, five. I don't see point six check receipt for rates of time. But you think, oh, Lisa, why didn't you do that? Well, let's see, it was dark. I wanted to get my car. I had just spent $20 over here, and I still had time, but I purposely made the conscious decision to move my car in this parking lot so it would be safer than extracting myself from a covered garage. 